ballroom dance is about um, a former world champion in Latin dance, uh, whose name is Slavik Kruklevi. He's a Russian, uh, and he is trying to uh, come back, have a comeback on the, in the Latin dance world. And he's a bit of a legend, but he was amazingly good 10 years ago, and now he's 10 years older, and he's injured, and I don't think he really has a passion for the dance anymore, but as many dancers, they they kind of, they've been so determined and so concentrated on what they're doing, so they're a bit af af afraid of what is gonna come, uh, come in their life after retirement. So this is all he knows, so he continues to pursue this, this um, first place in, in the Latin dance. And he's dancing with a 10 year younger girlfriend um, who he doesn't treat too well. I think it's really hard for, for couples to be professional and private. So um, eventually she leaves him, and, but they keep on uh, struggling for the first place, um, but it doesn't really carry through. So it, it, it's a quite a, a little bit of a tragic film, but ultimately I also think it's about something that we all know about, that our um, hunt for success does have consequences in our private life. Um, our producer Jacob is um, married to a former um, dancer who used to compete uh, against Slavic. But in the beginning we thought it was interesting to see these dance couples telling this story about really romantic love on the dance floor. But then, on the other hand, there would be a, a professional couple and a private couple um, trying to deal with love throughout this very pro professional and very hard world. Um, so in, initially we thought that it would be interesting to follow three different couples to see how they dealt with this, this issue. But then finally we met uh, Slavik and he was such a dramatic person and we just said to help with all the others, this is the guy we want to, to concentrate on. We were influenced by um, a few films for this, I think, but um, probably not any documentaries. We were um, inspired by Sofia Coppola somewhere and also the, the film called The Wrestler. It, it's very much the same narrative as The Wrestler, a, 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 a former champion who's trying to hold on to his career, but trying not to realize that he may be too old to continue. Um, I do think that um, that the film is very much, we live in a world that is where it's such, we're haunted by um, the need for success in our professional life. And it has so many, it, it's costly to concentrate so much if you don't look upon yourself, your, your feelings, your your love life, your family and stuff like that. And I think um, in many ways, I think it's very re relevant to the time we're living in. Actually, it's so great to be a part of Raindance because um, this uh, we we just signed off with so uh, Dog Wolf and it's actually going to be uh, in theatrical release uh, in the whole of UK in the beginning of next year. So it's a good uh, it's a great opportunity for us to show it for the British audience to see get a notion about what they feel about it and how they experience it.